friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are talking about global goal number 13, climate action. Sing it, Gregory. Climate action! And here to talk about it with us is Broadway star Ruthie Ann Miles. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Anika. You're doing Sweeney Todd right now, and thank you for fitting us in the crazy. I so appreciate it. You just opened. We did just open. Okay, so Ruthie, you did leave us and go out to LA to be a TV star in All Rise, but you came back, but you start, because you started your career here in New York theater. You, your first show, I believe in New York, was Avenue Q, off-Broadway. I was an itty me. bitty baby. It was so easy to see back then how massively talented you were. Aww. I remember the first day of rehearsal, go, looking across the room and making eyes with other people and going, who is this? <laughs> you were also amazing as Imelda Marcos in Here Lies Love at the Public Theater. And you were on Broadway in Sunday in the Park with George. And of course, you played Lady Tiang in The King and I on Broadway and in the West End. And now, hallelujah, you've come back to us to do Sweeney Todd here on Broadway. And we're so glad you're back. Thank you. Okay, so global goal number 13. Ruthie. Yes. What exactly is the goal of this goal? The goal of global goal number 13 is to take urgent action, urgent action to combat climate change and the impacts that it's having on all of us. Mm -hmm. Sing it, Gregory. Take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. What this goal is saying is that climate change is a real and undeniable threat to our entire civilization. The effects are already visible and it will be catastrophic unless we act now through education and innovation and follow through to our climate commitments. We can make the necessary changes to protect the planet. These changes also provide huge opportunities to modernize our infrastructure, which will create new jobs, promote greater prosperity across the globe. Yes, Ruthie. 15 years ago, a group of fired up theater people started the Broadway Green Alliance. Indeed. I'm a member, you're a member. Mm. We're all really members of the, if we're in the theater community and we realize that we got to be doing what we can to be green and not just alphabet green. <laughs> Please tell everyone about the BGA. Okay. The BGA educates, motivates, leads grassroots efforts, and inspires us, the theater community, and our patrons to implement environmentally friendlier practices on Broadway and wherever they come from, beyond. We have green captains in every Broadway show and off-Broadway, on national tours, in community theaters, and on college campuses. They are cast, crew, musicians, stage managers, anyone who wants to volunteer to help encourage sustainability in the theater and keep folks informed of initiatives and events, announcements like the BGA textile and e-waste drives, which I love. The Broadway Green Alliance website is full of resources and toolkits and guides that anyone anywhere can use to do theater more sustainably. The BGA has helped make so many great things happen, like, like getting all the light bulbs on Broadway marquees changed to LED lights. That's huge. It uses two-tenths, I guess you could say a fifth, of the energy that it used to. We got high-efficiency washing machines put in all the Broadway theaters. And if you know how much laundry we do, that's a really big deal. We encourage the use of rechargeable batteries in all of our mic packs. We organize the recycling and upcycling of instrument strings, uh, lighting gels, binders, the vases that people send us these beautiful flowers, flower arrangements in. At the end of the day, we in the BGA know that there's no way to be perfect in all of this, but that when we all act, when we all do what we can, it all really does add up. We also know that the climate crisis disproportionately affects poor people and BIPOC communities, and that there, there is no climate justice without racial justice. And we are going to continue to work doggedly to propel the theater climate revolution. Yes, the BGA, it's helped you and me and so many others figure out how to take action when we didn't know what to do. They've, they've helped us to know what we can do. Now globally, if we widen the lens out from Broadway, some of the targets of goal 13 are... The targets! To strengthen the resilience and ability to adapt to climate-related hazards and natural disasters in all countries. Integrate climate change measures in national policies, strategies, and planning. Improve the education, awareness raising, and human and institutional capacity to meet climate change. 
Follow through on the commitment by developed countries to jointly mobilize $100 billion a year to address the climate needs of developing countries. And help least developed countries with effective climate change related planning and management, including focusing on women, youth, and local and marginalized communities. Okay, these are big targets. Huge targets. Huge targets. And you might be wondering what you possibly can do to help. What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that it's overwhelming. But there is always something you can do, something that is manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. So we're going to do a wicked fast hit list of reminders of things you can be doing to help save the planet. You ready, Ruthie? Ready. You can always find a Goal 13 charity like the Broadway Green Alliance and make a donation, big or small. Recycle paper, glass, plastic, metal, textiles, old electronics. Compost. It's not just for hippies and farmers. It reduces our climate impact and it screws rats. Yes. Choose reusable products, not disposable ones. Buy eco-friendly products. Bike, walk, carpool, take public transportation. Consume less meat. Use less paper. Trees. Get your pets from animal shelters. Offset your carbon emissions. You can calculate your carbon footprint and buy climate credits from Climate Neutral Now. And always, stay informed and vote. 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 Vote for leaders who will fight to pass green legislation. All right, Ruthie, as always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! We're gonna start the clock now. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Oh, I like to drink things like ginger juice. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? I really do. I really do. I love my water from the tap. You could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion. Would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? My first instrument was flute, and I used to have really great breath control. So maybe not, maybe not on trombone, but you know, everyone needs a piccolo player. True or false, theater makers as storytellers are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. Oh yeah, absolutely true. What is the greatest theater city in the world? Greatest theater city in the world is New York City, baby. We're the greatest theater city in the world. We're the greatest theater city in the world. Who's greener, Elphaba or Greta Thunberg? Greta. Greta. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Go. The seaweed is always greener. Somebody a soup. Place, wake, lake. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Mm. Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lanternflies? You know what? I live in Brooklyn. We got the trees here. I'd say the lanternflies. Get out of here. Out of here. Which family was right? A, the Montagues, B, the Capulets, or C, we should just give peace a chance? Just live and let live. Love and just love. C. Ding! 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 Thank you, Ruthie, and thank you for watching. My friends, if you're ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet. More and more people every day out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. If we all just do the next right thing, Together, we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.